The season of giving continues. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Brendan. Today is outlet day. It is my favorite day that actually, the outlet has kind of sucked recently. You want me to be honest? So here's how this is gonna play out. We're gonna go into the outlet and depending on my success, if it's bad and I can't find anything, we'll go to the retail store also, which is attached to the outlet. It's right next door. And hopefully between the two, I'll find some stuff worth reselling. As always, the format is gonna stay the same for Christmas in July. I'm gonna pick a winner for last video. We're gonna go and shop until we drop. You guys know what it is. And then at the end, we will open up another gift as a thank you to my subscribers for following me along on this journey. But for now, we are headed into the outlet first. Let's get shopping. All right, this one is for the Patagonia fleece. Let's do this all over again. Yes replies, filter duplicates. I think that's all we need. And then what do we got to do? Add, do my math here. How many unique comments do we have for the Patagonia maroon fleece? Brand new with tags, 417 unique comments. And who is going to be the winner this time? It is Amanda Garley. Love your videos. Found I love that you found some croc or alligator purses. It's something... I know is valuable, but I always forget to look for. Awesome, Amanda, congratulations. I'm gonna send that to you. You have to email me your details at dadplanetofficial at gmail.com. I'll get that mailed out to you eventually. Thank you so much. Uh, let's get to the video. I got here today pretty early, but just as they were opening these doors, I counted and there were only 11 people in line. This was a really slow day from the customer side of things. So I don't know if that's an indication that people just aren't finding things like they used to. Maybe they're cherry picking items in the back. I think that's probably not the greatest idea, especially if foot traffic is extremely important. So I don't know what's going on here. It just seemed like it was a slow day and it has been like that, kind of a little bit more missed than it has been hit. So I'm walking in first, I always hit the shoes. My, my mentality with the shoes, with the leftover stuff is, if I can find two or three good pairs right when I walk in from the leftover bins from the night before, you know, figuring they're gonna be twenty between 25 and $35. I've done pretty well, right? Walk in and I've automatically got $100 in my cart right off the bat. So here's a great example of a shoe that's a definite bolo. New resellers, please look for these. Kush, the important thing to know is that this company is no longer in existence. These aren't manufactured anymore. And so this is, a. I got a lot of things working in my favor. It's a men's size 12. It's got a tropical feel to it. I'm gonna list those bad boys at $45. Here's another thing I want new sellers to try to do is this shoe right here, Dragon Beard, when I went to look for the active listings, there were a lot, there were, I shouldn't say a lot, but six or seven of them listed very, very high, but none sold in the last 90 days. In fact, there were only a couple sold on Terra Peak in the last two years. This is a shoe you're gonna wanna pass on, okay? So put these ones back, even though they look like they're all listed high, but get the Kush shoes. These are fantastic, right? They're almost like a Hey Dude competitor, if you will, but they're no longer made anymore. So we're moving on, yes. It's Patagonia. Yes, it's Brendan. You guys know what it is. This is a pair of shorts called Stand Up. So Patagonia men's stand up shorts. They're a size 34. Problem is you saw the stains on the front, right? So I'm gonna throw them in the wash. We'll see what happens here. But really, this is a very easy 35 to $40. The way you can find the style code is there's a UPC code right underneath them and then there's something that says item or ITM. If you look next to that, it gives you a five digit number and I think that number for those shorts was like 57227, something along those lines. That's how you identify Patagonia. Just look on the back of the tag. It's got the UPC there. It's got some other identifiers there. So 45 to 40, 35 to $40 if those were in great shape. I'm gonna throw them through the wash, probably 25 for me, but still a great find and it's Patagonia. Next thing I'm gonna scoop up here is a Rule 925 shirt. Now, this is also a bolo. Please keep your eye out for these t-shirts. This one has a little bit of wear. I actually, I used Google Lens and I couldn't identify the exact style on the front. I think it says striking nines. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. It's got a little bit of a hole on the back, so some issues on the bottom. Not issues that are going to devalue the shirt, if you're asking me. So there are some Rule 925 shirts that have sold for a lot of money. I think I found one recently and sold it for maybe between 75 and $100. 
This one, I don't really know. Maybe I'll come in at $40. It's hard to say without being able to find at least an exact comp. So I haven't checked therapy uh, to go back a two full years, but I did check Google Lens, nothing was coming up. And so maybe during my deep dive, I'll discover that that's worth more than the 40 bucks, but maybe what, it's gonna cost me 50 cents, super cheap, because we're at the bins, we're paying by the pound here, a buck 99 a pound. They haven't raised the prices in a while, thank God. And um, I'm just saying $40 to keep it conservative for when we total everything up at the end, so. We got a decent Patagonia piece in hand. We have one good pair of shoes. I didn't stay long enough for the shoe rotation to come out. So I didn't get a chance to see that. I do get another pair of shoes that had just been sitting in there. So we'll take a look at those just before I leave. I think it's a pretty decent pair and it kind of fits exactly what it is I'm looking for right when I walk in. So a couple of pairs there. We'll get to that last one in a second here, but two items right off the bat that are in demand, should sell relatively quickly, and I should get a pretty decent price for it. That's basically like the strategy that I stick to whether I'm in the retail stores or whether I'm at the bins. I mean, sometimes I adjust my strategy a little bit when we're doing the pay by the pound thing here, naturally, but I try to really stick to quality brands first and then everything else falls into place after that. So I'm not really like, okay, well, I'm gonna buy something because this is just, it's only gonna cost me a dollar. I really am looking for like that first quality brand and then everything else after that. And that seems to serve me well. So a lot of times I've come out here, I'm only spending 20 to $30, but all of it's quality, all of it's gonna sell in a decent amount of time. And that's basically all I can ask for here. Now I will start refilling some of my wholesale lots to sell to other resellers. I'll do that here uh, in the next couple of months, but for now, just stick into my formula here. So hat rotation came out. It's always crazy in the hat section, but I have a banger of a hat here, CC Filson. It's a rope hat, it's navy. These retailed at 42, but I do not care what it retailed at. I see one that sold brand new for $30 in the comps. I have no respect for that. I'm gonna list mine for 50, we'll see what happens. I might send out an offer if someone catches it so they would get it at like maybe 10 or 15% off. So it's gonna sell between 42 and $50. The reason I don't have any respect for that sold or any of the previous ones is I'm the only one that's gonna have that style. And if you search CC Filson hats and you look at the sold prices, lots of them selling for over $50. There's no reason that that one shouldn't have appreciated as well. So a unique style hat, I think I'm gonna be the only one that's got it listed. There's only what, two, 250, 250 hats listed right now currently. 220 or so have sold in the last 90 days. It's basically a guarantee, but I'm shooting high and I do that most often. And so I think it's gonna sell for that full asking price of 50 bucks. So another banger of a find. Then here's the other pair of shoes I was telling you about. I feel like Jack Purcells are overlooked a lot. So this is Jack Purcell Converse. Some people know it, some people don't. This is a really good one. Like if you're in the retail stores, I think they don't, they not purposely, but they just miss overpricing these ones where they probably could. You can see that like signature smile on the front there towards the toes. These are a men's, a men's 11, women's 12 and a half. This is actually a really easy $30. Not only is it easy, the condition that they are currently in is ideal for a lot of buyers as well. So keep your eye out for Jack Purcells. Again, I'll, I don't know what that's gonna cost me here. It's not gonna be a ton because we're at the outlet, but 30 bucks on those, but more importantly, four strong brands. Not too bad. I mean, that's kind of how it's been lately at the bins, but I like the items that I found. Those are great brands. So I'm gonna drop this stuff off in my car and then we are headed over to the retail store. Let's see if I can find anything inside that side. It has been a hot minute since I've been inside this store. So I'll look pretty loosely at a few things like the plush, electronics, I'll, I'll glaze over a lot of stuff. I'll check maybe the men's, obviously the shoes, but maybe men's pants. Doesn't look like they have any carts coming out or racks, that's usually the area that those things are at. So here's the plush pile. Let's just glance at this really quickly. But this store has been, I, I mean, it just hasn't been a whole lot to find here for months now and it's too bad because it's a relatively large store and i think they get stuff out you know pretty regularly it just it, i've just been struggling to find anything so hopefully we get lucky here these are awesome air force ones except they've got way too much wear on the heels so that is in definitely a no-go i think they were a size seven and a half if the soles had been in better condition those are a pickup that's another item that while not every single nike will sell and sell with some excellent velocity that's one of the ones that will, so just keep that in mind. Um, but those had too much wear, so they've gotta, they've gotta sit. So I'm gonna check the other side here. 
good looking pair of Nikes here, but I have a lot of those kind of bread and butter Nikes, so we're gonna pass on that. I'm gonna grab this though for $7. This is the Lululemon All Your Small Things pouch. So nothing really special about it, and I, I don't think I can get more than $25 for it. Silver color, it's in great shape, but it probably was never used. But, um, and seven seems a little bit high, but I mean, they, they obviously know what they have since it's Lululemon. I'm okay with it. I wanna come out of here with something. So I'll take that $25 on that bag and then maybe we'll get lucky with uh, a wallet, this rock and roll hall of fame hat was pretty cool. I didn't look that up. I don't look everything up here. I'm like, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm falling behind here doing two trips, going to the outlet and then going to the retail store, especially since I'm not finding a ton of stuff. So I'm gonna come home with something that I know is going to sell. And if I have to pay $7 for it, that's totally fine. Anytime we're looking at bags here, I'm like hoping I score one of those vintage Lisa Franks. I have sold one of those before for $250. A lot of you had commented that that's sort of a grail item for you to find. I have I have actually found one and sold one. I found it at a Goodwill, so that was awesome. My 250 was, and it was in one of my what sold videos a long time ago, but that was super exciting. But I am always looking at those end caps to see if there's any Lisa Frank hiding behind one of the bags, but. Um, Checking the glass here, I don't see much. I didn't see much in the way of uh, toys. These Hull like French onion soup cups, whatever you want to call these are, are cool. Maybe, maybe I should have looked those up and I think they did have their day. Depending on if those were 99 cents, that might've actually been a pretty decent pickup, but moved off of those and just trying to maybe get lucky here at the last second, like catch something that's misplaced or something like that. I don't really see anything that catches my eye with some vintage Christmas here that was kind of cool. And you know what, if I would have spent a little bit more time and dug a little bit deeper, there's probably plenty of money sitting on these racks, but I'm go with what I know sometimes. And I just don't see anything here that I recognize and I'm not, this isn't a, a lesson in learning for me right now. I'm actually trying to, uh, to, to move as fast as I can. So not a ton of time. All right, a cart finally comes out. These Toms were meaty. You know how some Toms are kind of lightweight? I wonder if this was like real leather. In fact, when I did, I went through Google Lens, I've checked therapy, checked solds. I'm not really finding much in the way of like men's white perforated leather Toms. There's a pair on Poshmark that says they were like Neiman Marcus exclusives, but they're not exactly like the ones I'm holding on to here, but I'm gonna trust my gut. And I, I don't remember what she charged me. There was like 25, that looks like two, 25, $7. But um, so maybe I was charged seven. I wasn't paying attention to my receipt. At any rate, I feel like I can probably get $30 for those Toms. They were like really well made, way different than the light, airy, perforated Toms that, you know, are canvas that, that you normally see. So I'm going to take those because, again, I feel like that's something that I can easily sell. And then we'll just check the rest of this cart here but nothing else doing. So we're going to check the pants. I got really lucky on a pair of pants here. So. Roan, if you've never seen this brand before, especially if you're new, put it on your radar. This is a pair, you can see the zip at the bottom. So these are called the commuter joggers. They're khaki color. I forget what size they were and they kind of hide their tags underneath here. So it'll give you a style code if you flip it over 100151. So it's the commuter jogger. Honestly, I'm gonna list these at 55 for 55 bucks. They look like they're in pretty pretty good condition here, no issues that, that I see. A very lucky find and another one of those overlooked brands. So pants I think in this store are $4.99. So if I can get $55 for this pair, and I, and I believe I will, we're gonna be rocking and rolling. That's fantastic, that's a great sale. It's like a huge return and uh, that helps me buy a little bit more time here as I do some shopping. I get super lucky right here. I took a look and that's another pair of Roan. What threw me off is the buttons. The buttons were a little bit different than the other one, but that's another pair right there that I'm gonna grab. Now I'm thinking, okay, this is somebody's closet. There's gotta be some other pairs in here that are like, so I could only find the two Roan pants and that's totally fine. So let's go back to this one here. This one, this style, is the Tech Chino. Now I don't think that I can get, you can see I'm like, why doesn't it say Roan on the button there? But those were legitimate. These are definitely not fake. I don't know that this is a brand that's faked, but it really doesn't concern me at this point because th these are clearly real. It's the Tech Chino and I'll be listing those for $45. So 55 and then 45. It's very exciting, okay. Put the paper out. 
is it? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a black it's the, uh, Tears of the Tears Kingdom. Of the King. It is Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch. This is factory sealed. One of the things I'm noticing right now, though, actually, this was purchased at Walmart. It looks like the case is cracked a little bit, so I might have to go swap this out for you because I definitely want you to have a brand new or at least a good functioning case. Anyway, I'm sure the game uh, is going to work fine, but we are such a huge gaming family all four of us play and zelda one of the most beloved franchises for me as a child and uh you know my kids are enjoying it right now as well so i wanted to share that and pass this along with you this is today's giveaway item and uh if you're not subscribed already you, you might want to do so um yeah there it is. Okay, so I spent $6 at the bins and $24 at the store. So $30 total. My listed value for the bins items is $150. Listed value for the store items is $155. So $305 for a total. Not a terrible return. And my question for you in this video is, who is the biggest gamer in your family? And what franchises are you playing? What games are you playing or do you love the most we it's, right now it's a ton of zelda for us tons of mario i play a ton of fortnite so we're big into the video game stuff here over at uh, dad planet headquarters but what games are you playing who's the biggest gamer in your family let me know in the comments brendan here dad planet the one-man show thank you so much for tuning in i'm filming this the day after that's why i'm clean shaven <laughs> um i appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you in the next video